All right, guys. So Yeezy Day 2022 just passed, and we had a ton, we had tons of restock, a lot of new heat, and this is one of them. Today here we have the Dita ZZ 700 analog. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, Stickers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys today, and of course we have an unfoot. So make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But besides that, I do want to say if you guys do enjoy this video, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the family if you haven't yet. I do have um if you guys want to stay connected, my socials will be on the screen and down below the description box. I do have my own clothing brand, so if you guys want to support that or follow come a long way. Instagram is tapping 305 website www.tapping305.com. And as of right now, you guys will be seeing what I do have in store for my clothing brand and make sure to stay tuned for the new drops coming soon. Alright, guys, so starting with the box as we always do, we have a typical regular easy box in brown and the wording in black. You see the 700 in black. On this side you have nothing, but on this side you have boost right here. On this side, you have Easy Boost 700 made by Adidas with Adidas logo. Now let's go to the label side. Bring it a little closer. And I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it clearer just in case you guys can't. I'll also read it. The label reads Easy Boost 700. This is a size 10. And the um, style code is EG7596. And it is analog, analog, analog three times, top and bottom. Original is one time, top and bottom, made in China. So now that we're done with the box, let's just straight into the shoe and talk about some details and the colorway. So first off, I just want to say that this shoe originally released first in 2019, but during Yeezy Day, Yeezy Day 2022, we had a restock and I had a grab. I went for it and I got lucky. And this shoe is pretty clean, man. This is my first time actually seeing it in hand face to face. Never got a chance to have a pair before, so this is my first time, honestly. And it looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm a huge fan of 700s, so this colorway is pretty clean, you know. But let's de let's dive into the colorway. As you guys can see, majority of the shoe give you like a beige, definitely a beige colorway with some hits of white, with some hits of gray, you know. Got some beige going on the top right here, right here. Got some beige in that um leather material. And you have some mesh going down right here. Some mesh material down here. You have your laces in a beige colorway. And you have right here on a suede material right here. You have some part of the midsole in white and then the majority of the midsole is in beige. You have some little hits of gray right here um, with the reflective right here. So you have the back, some gray and some beige on the back of the uh, midsole. I have some mesh material right here and some suede material right here and beige and gray and the majority and I'll say the insole kind of looks like this is how the insole look you guys can see the um the Yeezy the Adidas sign and you guys can see the Optolite sign and the insole you know and then you can see some black on the outsole you have your outsole and some black and some beige colorways right here and some white um, for the boost right here the Adidas logo is right here on the bottom right here Now that we done with the detail, let's dive in straight to sizes just to give you guys never had a 700 and wonder what size to go for. And honestly, my best opinion, and though it fits for me, I'll definitely say go true to size. I remember when I got um the first time I got the Wave Runners, I went full size up, and I'm not I'm not stressing about it, but I do have a lot of space. So true to size is pretty good with um 700s. Even confirm and Adidas recommend it. I'll insert a screenshot so you guys can see as well, so you guys can have some proof. But if you guys want to go half a half a size up just to try it out, you guys are welcome to. But I do recommend true to size is perfectly fine with these.
All right, so now that we're done with the size, let's dive in straight into rating and give an honest opinion about it. So comment below how you guys feel after I'm done. So basically for me, I, like I said in the beginning, I'm a huge friend of 700 and these are pretty clean. I always thought they was pretty clean and I'm excited to see in person. I'm excited to have these. Um, definitely for these, this cutaway, I'm gonna have to give it a nine. It's pretty clean. Um, it definitely give you a, like a, it's not a white colorway, but it's a beige. Beige colorway is similar to white, so if you want to rock this with a lot of stuff, you can. It, it will pull off the style, and it'll look good on your feet with a lot of um, colorways, with a lot of jeans, a lot of shirts. So definitely, this is a plus one if you don't have this in your collection, you guys want it. This is a plus. You got to add this, you know, in my opinion. Don't forget to comment below how you guys feel. Yeah, so we're about to wrap this video, but before we wrap this video up, I want to hear how you guys did on Yeezy Day. Did you guys go after these shoes? It's, um, Yeezy Day was all day long, even at like almost midnight, like 11, I was going for shoes and copied some shoes so definitely um easy day was a pretty good success um i did take a, a lot of l's but i did get a couple shoes and i do have some more shoes coming in which i'll provide a review so make sure to tune in to that if you guys want to see what else i got for easy day but again guys thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video it's niggas and chris i'll see you guys in the next one